All right, so I, I'm going to try and pick up more or less where I left off last time. Uh, I was cleaning up my apartment today, doing errands, laundry, etc. And I happened to cross a couple PCBs that I had never used. I mean, I had used one of these, but, you know, they come in sets of three. So there's the other two. Um, and I found a couple of old flash carts, namely this one here and this one in here uh, that I had chucked in my parts bin because I couldn't get working. So while I was doing laundry, I started messing with those and I'm feeling pretty good because I got both of them working. Uh, this one, of course, I'm going to transfer to another PCB eventually because the, this, I can't clean that off. That's the solder mask that's stained. Um, Maybe I'll just put everything on this PCB. I don't know. It's the last one that I have from that batch I ordered. Uh, but anyway, that's not the purpose of this video. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I'm feeling pretty good about what we're going to do here. I'm going to bring back, and we're going to take a look at, the 4 megabyte FRAM cart. The uh, crystal clear one. See if we can't get that going. Now... The reason I'm taking a look at this, and I said I was going to go through the um, schematic and see if I couldn't get at least an SRAM version working. The reason I'm taking a look at this again is because um, Alex from the Inside Gadgets sub, uh, Discord, well, from Inside Gadgets, um, took a look at it and figured, oh, hey, the pinout's wrong. So I'm going to see if I can't cut or lift these tra two traces and swap them and see if that will fix our issues. Now, I don't recall where we left off because, quite frankly, the part one of this video has been sitting in my upload queue for... Oh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. Because I need access to pins four and five. And one, two, three, four, and five, both of those, the traces run under uh, nuts. I don't think I can do this then. Because I need to cut, I need to swap them on the back. Oh, that's so frustrating. Dang it. Well, maybe I can just lift those two pins. I'm afraid of breaking it. So I'd rather save this for... Hmm. Well, hold just a moment. Let me go... I have the, um, the PCB file for this. So let me go pull that up and I can uh, check out where those go and see if there's an easier place to cut them on the front. Just a moment. Right, so I know what we're going to have to do here. I'm just going to slide my laptop in here and we'll just pretend that I'm using screen capture and not literally just my laptop right here. Um, so we're going to have to lift pin number four here. Let me get my pointer. Because as we can see, it runs across to pin 14. That I, I think that was a mistake just in general. Um, but pin number five, we can cut over at, you can't see very well, yeah, right here. At U2, we can cut the middle pin on that one and then solder a jumper to pin number four here and then pin number five? I don't know. We'll just leave that floating and see what happens. Okay. The uh, question mark on the fixed image leads me to believe that it's not very important. Uh, okay, I need a knife. So we can cut these traces. So I need to cut, oh good lord, that is in a wonderful spot. Okay. 
think that's good enough. Where's my multimeter? Here we go. So if all went well, that middle pin should no longer be connected to pin 5, but it is. Okay, let's try again. This is why we double check with the multimeter. There, now there's a chunk in the PCB missing. If that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Middle, pin five. Excellent. So now we need to lift pin four. Ah, oh, shoot, my soldering iron just went to sleep. Okay, we're good. Or are we good? Now this is absolutely something that can be fixed with a new PCB and quite frankly there is already a new PCB revision. I just already have this. Also my hot air gun just broke, so I wouldn't be I would I wouldn't be able to build a new PCB anyway. Okay. I think that's good. I think I lifted the trace on the PCB, but I think that'll be fine. Alright, what we need to check. What pin did I say? Looks like it's pin 14, which is third from the top on the right here. Uh, see, that's still connected. I did lift the trace, but it didn't actually separate from the PCB. Oh, you couldn't see that. Well, you'll have to take my word. I'm not going to bother with that. Oh, wait, no. I don't. I didn't lift the trace. There's just a big glob of solder under that. Now it looks, now it looks lifted. Fold this up more. Great. Oh wait, never mind. That might have just worked. It looks good. Let's test it. Third from the top. Oh, no, still connected. Well, oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, it's definitely still connected.
Now I'm pretty sure it's good. Third, third time. Fuck. Third charms the try or whatever. Third tries the charm, Jesus. Oh my God, it's still connected. What the? Keep trying. If it's still connected now, it's something internal to this chip. It's got to be. Where does that fit? That fits right there. There we go. Finally got it now. Whew. Okay. Wire tape. Quite all right. Sorry if my hands are a little bit shakier than usual. I was going to get down. Nice. So the camera cut out. I'm sorry. I kept going. I didn't realize. Uh, I just ended up soldering the wire from that lifted pad all the way to the middle pad of U2. And that's pretty much it. Uh, now, full disclosure, I did already plug this into my computer and flash just regular Pokemon Crystal to it. And hopefully my Pokemon Crystal save. So let's see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. Continue. And look at that, no battery. Now RTC is not gonna work because there's no battery. Ah, oh, save file is corrupt. Well, maybe that's fine. Let's start a new game. Now it's entirely possible that the save file is corrupt because I just left that pin hanging. And if that pin is what I think it is, it is a RAM pin. Oops, well, I guess I'm gonna be AAA. Yeah, we'll overwrite that. Hey, look at that, it doesn't crash. Huh? Huh? Yeah, let's restart it. I'm not gonna go through all that. Continue. Does it actually load? No, I don't think it does. That's okay though. That's a step in the right direction. Now I just need to... Are those shorted together? They might be. That might be why it's not loading. 
<laughs> Whoops. Let me double check that. No, they're not shorted. Okay. So I would need to solder this. Where does this go? This should be RAM address 15. So it probably just goes straight to the FRAM chip. AA15, what are you? I don't see it. Maybe not. Sorry, I'm scrolling through Oops. this here. But I see AA14 and AA13. I don't see... What was I looking for? AA15. Yeah, I don't see that. Which makes sense. I believe this is actually a smaller chip. So I don't know why it's not saving or why it's not completely saving and why it's not restoring. That might be something for the people smarter than me to figure out because um, we might need another AND gate or something or an OR gate. Or, I forget which is which. The original crystal cart came with this little gate here, and then the uh, FRAM carts that we've been making have this gate here. So maybe we need both or neither. I don't know. Quite frankly, I'm not 100% sure how they're wired or what they do, so I can't really speculate on that. But almost, almost we're this close. Anyway, I'll keep playing with this. But I'm going to cut the video off here because this is pretty much as much as I can do. And because uh, I'm hungry. I want to go get some food. Go start my dinner. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an excellent night.